Did you know that CliffX bindings work just like Ableton's mapping features, but with one key difference. They let you dynamically remap controls on the fly. This means your controls can automatically adjust to the currently selected track or device. How to set it up? First, go to Ableton's preferences and set the correct MIDI input and output for the CliffX script. Then CliffX needs to know what MIDI data is being sent. In a TXT file, specify the MIDI channel and controller number, plus two additional options which we won't cover in detail here. For example, a MIDI fighter twister knob entry might look like this. After restarting Ableton, you can use the bind action in two ways. For a fixed mapping, assigning a knob to a specific parameter, you use this. Or for a dynamic mapping, using SELP, which binds the knob to the currently selected parameter, like a hot button. By combining both approaches, you can map entire controllers dynamically while keeping key controls fixed where needed.